guys, so today we are making a Father's Day gift and we are making an earbud case. So this is a really cute little earbud case. You can actually just open and close it. It has Velcro, it has a little snap to add it right onto a purse or a bag. And actually this would be a great gift for lots of different people. Anybody that you know that loves to listen to music and has those little earbuds that they're always chasing around, here's, I think this is gonna be fun to make. So uh, grab your duct tape and we'll start crafting. For this project, you're going to need at least one duct tape. I'm using a fun duct tape and I'm using two accent colors. You don't necessarily have to have the accent colors. I just picked these out because I thought it would be fun. You need some Velcro. You need a couple little hooks. You can use a keychain hook or you can use one of these little claw hooks. And that's optional actually. You wouldn't even necessarily have to use those. A straight edge, an X-Acto knife. And you may need some scissors. And then I'm also using this self-healing mat to do all my cutting on. So we're going to start with the accent tape. And we're going to need one 5 inch piece. One, two, three, four, five. And you can even cut it a little bit big because we can trim it later. And now you're going to need a three inch piece. And I like how this self healing mat works for this. Okay, so now the trick is we with the fun tapes, if you didn't have a color tape, you wouldn't have to do this necessarily. You could just cut this another five inch tape. But we're going to take this and we're going to match the pattern. So what we're going to do, we're going to match that pattern as closely as we can. And you don't have to be like right on the money. But, and you don't necessarily have to do this. It just makes it a little bit nicer, especially with this Mario tape. And then we're going to cut this on both ends. So now I have some extra tape. So there's our five inch piece. And now we're going to do our three inch piece. We're going to mar match our Mario here. Just like that. We're going to take this string off. We're going to cut it. Now you could, if you want really straight edges for this, you could use your straight edge. I'm just going to eye it because I know that I'm going to be trimming this later. You want to make sure that these edges are together. Okay, so there's our three inch piece. So we're going to flip up over one of our pieces. Either piece is fine. We're going to take one of our accent colors. So I think I'm going to do the blue on the inside. So we're going to just cover up the inside here. This will be the inside of your earbuds. Just like that. Now, you could make these um, a little bit smaller. My husband's earbuds are a little bit bigger. They're a little bit fancier ones. So, if you want to make this a little bit smaller, last time I made one and I trimmed off an inch. We want to make a clean edge on this one, so I'm going to take my straight edge now. And I'm going to get this lined up as much as possible. And now I'm going to go right along my straight edge, get a nice cut. Again, this bottom you don't necessarily have to have a clean edge. This is just going to make it a little bit easier along the, in the long run. 
Okay, I'm not going to worry about this top piece because we're going to do something different with the top, but I'm going to make this bottom edge just a little bit neater. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add an accent edge to this before we tape it all together. And we're going to use the red for the accent tape. I'm just going to do that. You don't necessarily have to use your X-Acto knife to get this straight edge. So now we're going to measure this out. I'm going to do just like that. We're going to keep that piece. Okay. So this is going to make a nice clean edge. Now we're going to take our two pieces and we're going to meet these two bottom pieces like this. We have a half an inch tape here. We're going to try and make this as right in the middle as we can possibly can that in there, flip it over, clean edge. You know you want this really nice and tight so that way when they open it up, see I didn't do it perfect, I still have a little bit of a sticky in here, but that's okay. You want to try and get as tight as possible. So this is the time you're going to clean up your edges. So you're going to take your straight edge, and you're going to cut through all of your layers of your duct tape and so you have a nice clean edge along here. Same thing with this one. Okay, so same with the other side. Get it nice and clean. That way you know these two sides meet really nice and tight. So we're going to take some of our accent tape and we want to measure it out to be about the height of this, which is about three inches. We've cut this tape in half. So now we have both sides here. What you're going to do is you're going to line up this top edge and try and get as centered as possible. Flip it, pull it really nice and tight, put it down. There we go. And we're going to cut off any of the excess off of the bottom. There you go. Same thing on this side. You want to meet this top edge, get it as centered as possible, lay it down, flip it over, pull it nice and tight around this corner, and then cut off any of the excess. Just like that. Okay, so there's that so far. So now what are we going to do with this top? So we're going to fold it like this, and then we're going to fold it like this. And that should give you your marks for your point. So obviously I could have had an extra inch taken off of this, but I didn't want to. And then you're just going to cut along your marks. There's one. There's two. So now you have a nice point on this. And you could just fold this down and put it together if you want it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add accent tape along that edge. So what I could do is I could measure this out. Since it's about two and a half inches. And I could cut it about there. And then we want to cut that in half. 
back like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay this down just like this. Tuck it in. Flip it over and pull it tight. Now I didn't do a great job. It's not perfectly straight, but my husband's not going to care. Okay, let's do this one. So I'm going to go from this angle and I'm going to fold it over. Tuck that in. Get this nice and tight. Tuck that corner in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off any of the excess tape, just like that. So now here's, here's our little pouch. So you can use this pouch for a lot of different things. Well, let's add our Velcro. And then we're going to add our top Velcro to here. So the trick to make your Velcro match up is you just actually stick it right on here and fold it over and stick it down and push it down really nice and hard and voila there's our velcro so now it closes up really nice now do you want to add the little thing to hang it with now you have two options here i'm going to pull out my hole punch if you don't have a hole punch you can use an exacto knife and cut a hole in it and i'm going to hole punch this right in here like this right in this corner and that's going to be my hole for my little band. Okay, so now we're going to make this strap. So I made this small piece here, and it's about four inches long. And what we're going to do is we're going to go part way down. I'm probably going to fold this into thirds. So I'm going to cut a little slot here and a little slot here. Then on the same side. A little slot here, a little slot here, same thing on this side, we want to cut those off, like that grab any pieces that are still tucked to it and get rid of those. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in like this. Fold it in like this. We're going to take this little strap and we're going to feed it through here before we connect it all. And then we're going to take our hook and again we're going to feed it through that and that might kind of ruin our stickiness here Let's see if I can revive it okay so now we're going to fold this over like this and we're going to meet this edge with this you may wonder why do I have this extra sticky I just have it just to kind of make it a little bit more sturdy and you remember I had a piece of scrap earlier? I'm going to take that, cut off all these rough edges. I'm going to put that through here. Like this. Okay. And then fold it over. This is just going to make sure it doesn't fall apart for you. There's lots of sticky going on here. We're going to tighten that all down. We're going to cut off any of this extra. You could just wrap it all the way around. I don't want to do that because I want it to be able to move it around a little bit if I need to. Okay, so now check this out. Here is our airbed case with a little snap on it. You can open it up, stuff your earbuds in there, and it's all set. 